stop and think, all right, what have I promised? Mm -hmm. Maybe go back to the original proposal that you wrote. Right. If you're writing proposals or look at the product that you're selling and and look what the product promises and then look at that relationship. Am I delivering on this? Mm -hmm. Am I living up to my end? And if you feel like you're not, make it right. That's a good first step. Make Mm -hmm. it right. And then have a conversation with the customer and be Mm -hmm. transparent. Like you said, uh, you know, sir, I realized that I, I was going through your stuff and I realized that we talked about doing this and we just haven't done it yet. But I want you to know that I apologize that that somehow got under my radar, but we're going to refocus here and get this done for you. And a Mm -hmm. lot of times that conversation alone, letting that customer know or that client know that he noticed it, he's paying attention to it. Mm -hmm. She's working on it. That gives them the peace of mind. Because ultimately, listen, if somebody hired you to do something for them or paid you to buy something from you, they did it so that they wouldn't have to do it themselves. Right. So ultimately, they don't. W- it, it, when, when it becomes a, a loss of value is when they realize that they're not. I'm, this is causing me to have to do something that I paid them to do and I had mm-hmm. to do myself. So if you can recognize where the the gaps are or what you're not delivering on, I think that will really help. <laughs> <laughs>